Fala pessoal, sou o Miguel Chaim, estamos aqui, de... acabou agora a press conference, olha com quem eu estou aqui. Grande Chad Nichols. Chad, pleasure to meet you, man. Pleasure, pleasure to meet you. What can we expect from Big Remy this year? Let me tell you, this year has been a great year. Um, last year there were some you know, obstacles that we had to go overcome. And so we were trying to accomplish something that was very tricky to accomplish when you don't have a full year of training. Okay. This year, we not only had a full year, but, but we had almost 15 months. Um, so it's a much different Rami. He trained literally from the time the show got over with. Um, normally he'll take two or three months off, let his body recover and everything. But since he literally didn't, you know, train all year most of the year he was he was fresh ready to go really after the olympia and so this has really been the best prep uh, that we've really had and you know there was like when i started working with him i had a vision of what i wanted to see and in 2020 it was good you know it was good but i knew the potential was to be there much much more this year we've accomplished that we've accomplished the, the size that i wanted to see with the conditioning that i wanted to see ele falou que 2020 foi muito bom já, ano passado 2021 foi meio mais ou menos, não teve tanto tempo assim, teve obstáculos, ele tinha uma visão de como ele gostaria de ver o físico do Big Remy, mas esse ano não teve só 12 meses não, foram 15 meses de treino e vai ser o melhor Big Remy da vida. What kind of improvements can we see? He's just be bigger overall or, or we can see He something is. special? So what we try to do is balance things out. So in the past maybe his legs was a little bit over dominant, so you were drawn to him right off the bat. Goal was to improve the back, uh, really improve the tricep so it hangs a little bit more from the front double, keep his waist e exactly the same size, but at the same time building everything else up around it so that shoulder to waist ratio is more exaggerated. The legs are now more in balance with the upper body. Conditioning from, the, from every angle is on point. Uh, we was able to improve his lower back. So, so in certain shots, that lower back has more thickness, more conditioning. Um, so it's going to be an incredible showing. This year, this year, the conditioning is probably 10% better than 2020, but with probably 25% more fullness. So it's not that he's, you know, like, we're not trying to bring him in crazy big. We're trying to bring him in balanced is what we're trying to do. But he, in, the, in, the meantime, in the meantime, His overall structure and size is improved. Legal. Eu perguntei o que a gente vai ver de diferença. Ele falou assim que, de uma maneira geral, o shape dele vai melhorar. Ele está maior. Ele vai chegar 10% mais seco do que ele vem em 2020, mais 25% mais cheio. Então, a gente vai um cara maior e mais tight, mais apertadinho, com a cintura menor. E ele falou que é o melhor Big Ram de todos os tempos. E as pernas estão bem mais balanceadas, segundo eles. Vou falar agora dos brasileiros. Can we talk about the Brazilian guys? You are training William Martins, right? Yes, William, uh, incredible athlete. And uh, same thing, like when I saw him, I could tell like it was one of those things where his body was just wanting to grow. And I told him, I'm like, embrace that because, you know, that you're not going to be in that position forever. And so, you know, I told him, I said, listen, I, I said, we're going to just push that and let that body grow and take us where we want to go. And the minute we started working together, we clicked really well. Diet was on point within weeks. His body just kept moving forward, moving forward. Uh, the progress that he's made in a very short period of time is literally mind blowing. And what I, I mean, like my goal for him and where I see him and the potential for him uh, is, is amazing. Like he is going to be a true true bodybuilding freak um you know we've seen some freaks back you know back in the day like you know ronnie and marcus rule and those types of physiques we haven't seen those guys for a while this guy has the potential he has the potential to be one of the greatest big big bodybuilders of all time like he is that good um uh, there's no doubt in my mind that he'll be here next year bom começou ele falou assim perguntei do William martins falou assim não tenho dúvida que ele estará aqui ano que vem a gente vai fazer ele crescer o máximo que pode, porque ele está numa fase que ele está crescendo muito. O resultado até agora tem sido de explodir a mente, de tão rápido que foi. E eles vão fazer estratégia, vamos crescer, porque ele quer transformar ele num dos maiores freaks. Tipo, a gente tinha o Marcos Hu lá nos anos 90, nos 2000, ele quer fazer algo similar com o William Martins. People, the, people are concerned about his waist size. People are saying, okay, if he, he, if he get, get bigger now, his waist is getting bigger too. What, what are they going to do about that? So here's the thing. Genetic, genetic structure is genetic structure. Sure. So if you go in, and most people will do this. They'll see somebody like that, and they'll say, hey, listen, we don't want to get your waist any bigger. So we're going to try to bring your waist down. 
you can't bring the waste down, okay? But what you can do is get everything else bigger. So what we're doing is we want to keep the waste the same size, get everything else bigger, which will create the illusion of a smaller waste. That was the game plan from day one. Uh, we're going to keep that waste nice and on point, and we're going to expand everything else around it okay. so, so that the final outcome will be a much more it kind of more eye appealing look from that shoulder to waist ratio but at the same time big and freaky ele falou que não tem como mudar a estrutura não tem como mudar a genética o cara tem a cintura não tem como diminuir então o que ele vai fazer é aumentar tudo em volta vai aumentar as pernas vai aumentar a dorsal vai aumentar o braço para que ele não consiga diminuir a cintura mas que aumente o resto e crie aquela ilusão aquele V da cintura para o ombro que é o que a gente tinha falado já é uma estratégia interessante não tem muito como, como fazer o contrário e ele falou que vai fazer isso, vai aumentar ele, como ele fez com o Big Remy. É, crescendo tudo em volta, mas mantendo a cintura. E ele conseguiu fazer com o Big Remy, então a gente vai ver fazendo isso aí também com o William. Ele falou assim que também tem certeza que o William vai estar aqui ano que vem. Where, where do you see Rafael Brandão landing this year? Let me tell you, he's a guy that kind of didn't come on the radar until a little bit late. I've always loved his physique. I think that, you know, structurally and balance with that deep separation and those lines have always been incredible. The photos that I've seen of him in the, you know, recently, he's added tremendous muscle. Um, I could, I could see him definitely stirring things up, mixing things up in that top 10 for sure. Yeah, ele falou que o Brandão tem uma estrutura muito bonita, tem linha muito legal, tem um físico estético, que a estrutura dele suplanta muita gente e que ele, a gente não viu ele perto dos caras ainda, mas ele acha que ele pode fazer um bom trabalho, uma baguncinha lá no top 10 esse ano. Man, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Brazil is bringing it these these last few years. And I, yeah. I've talked to a bunch of athletes from, from Brazil over the last six months, and I think we're going to see an influx of just amazing, amazing athletes in the next in the next few years. Yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate ele falou assim que o Brasil está trazendo muitos atletas bons aí, que ele falou com muita gente nos últimos seis meses, e que vai ter muita gente boa para ano que vem. Okay? Thank you again, man. Nice seeing you. 